Hello everybody, all over the world. Whoops. Yes, hello, I'm GPS, and today's episode is about how to not be seen. And as you can see, in this title of cards, there is a heavy which cannot be seen. And I'm your host, GPS, which also cannot be seen. And this is a good survival tactic that you need in Team Fortress 2. The skill to not be seen, and that is also hiding. So we're going to go into the first replay, but before that I have to show you a little bit about what we call user dedication. So uh, I got this email from an individual uh, sending some replays for today, but that's pretty cool. So let me just show you the email real quick. Uh, here we go, yes. So here is the here is the email I got, and it's it's not in standard font. You know, clearly he has taken the time to uh, put the font up in size, put it in cursive, and also add underline as well as uh, red background. So here is your replay, Mr. GPS. I am too lazy to put them in the folder. Deal with it. And he just sent me DMX files, which by themselves are absolutely useless. So. Uh, be sure to include the demo files as well when you submit, and if you t can take the time to uh, make your font larger, put color on it, underline, and type in all caps, uh, you probably have enough time to put them in the zip folder. So with that out of the way, let's go into the first user submitted replay for today, which is by Sir uh, Mintberry. A heavy, and he's going to be showing you how to not be seen as a heavy. And that can be quite difficult, because as a heavy, you're uh, kind of big, you're kind of slow, it takes a while for you to move around and, and get things done, and I absolutely... So there's his weapon, yes. And he's using the Tommy Slob. And the thing about the Tommy Slob, it's that when you spin up, it's completely silent, but currently there's like this bug, uh, we'll get into that later. So we're going to be seeing uh, Sir Mintberry working on how not to be seen. And this heavy here is looking over here, and sees a soldier, but does not see Mintberry, therefore Mintberry has not been seen. Currently, he's with his teammates. The map is King of the Hill Lakeside, and he's gonna sit in the corner and not being seen. Great, excellent, awesome. So here comes the demo man, which he just shoots, and he sees him, but he sees him too late. He takes him out and takes out the soldier as well. I'm gonna poke in here, sees a spy, takes him out as well. And then he's gonna be using the shotgun, running around. Oh, sees another heavy with a brass piece. Do not want to engage that because Tommy Slot does less damage than a brass piece when he's fully spun up. So he's using the art of not being seen. And as he sees the heavy, goes up and BC, and he's seen, but he kills his target. So now, uh, as you can see, Sir Mintberry is doing a good job of not being seen. So he's gonna be sitting here in the corner and hiding like a boss. He sees a sniper and he chose to be seen, but he kills his target. So if you kill the target that has seen you, and if the enemy team does not... Oh, that's some funky positioning right there, sniper. Uh, and hasn't seen you, uh, you're doing uh, pretty good. So he sees a demo, he sees him too late, charges towards him. Not the best there, as he was nearly an ultra demo knight, which are also very bad against absolutely everything besides dispense... Like, unattended dispensers and teleporters, pretty much. So uh, we see Midberry here being uh, very cautious uh, using those corners. Corners are good. Uh, also, you don't want to like shoot targets as soon as you see them. And he has actually been seen, but his soldier buddy got uh, his enemy soldier got taken out by a friendly soldier. No problem. There, seeing a sniper, opting to be seen, but also killing his targets. Uh, checking, you know, to see if there's more people that see him and stuff like that. So he's gonna be running around here and notice again the skill of not being seen. Just gonna go around here, do a little roundabout. Now here is also on the high ground, being above your target is also good. And this is a pretty good spot because you will get the drop on absolutely everyone because nobody looks both ways before they cross a room like this spy. Here we'll go past him, he's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna let that spy pass. And seeing that soldier taking him out as well. You can see he's being very sneaky for being such a fat, 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 fat man. So he's been circling around this area for the most part. There's a spy here taking out an engineer and sapping that. And, I mean, they just want to make absolutely sure everything dies. I'm uh, not sure what the melee weapon he's using, but it's uh, he's using the shotgun and the Tommy Slaw, that's what I know. So, uh, fun fact, uh, which uh, made very just to confirm, you cannot 
stand on this ledge. We can stand on this ledge. Which is just as big. And also you can see he's very good at hiding his gun. So that is also uh, not being seen. Oh, there it is. He's gonna be running around. You see, he's been doing uh, pretty much the same patrolling uh, thing around. And uh, when you do hiding stuff, you generally don't want to hide in the same location. And being very smart here, just using you know the window, jumping up and see if there's anything there. It's like, is there anything there? Oh, there's a demo man. Let's go get the demo man. The demo man didn't even see him because, as I will say a lot in this episode, he has the skill to not be seen. Which is also a skill Spy has if you right-click using an invisible watch. So he actually decides to shoot here and uh, he's gonna fall back and reload his shotgun. He's gonna have a little laugh at this tiny baby enemy team. And you can see that his opponent team is not doing very well. However, neither team opting to have a medic because f fuck, fuck medics, right? Don't wanna have any of those. And, uh, see, he's still patrolling his area, he still hasn't died. And the opponents are doing a very good job of just, uh, being seen and attacking one at a time. So he's gonna end in 30 seconds, we're just gonna speed it up real quick. He's using this, shooting, 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 hiding down the water. 30 seconds. And then he wins, yeah, congratulations! So, that was the, um first user submitted uh, replay we have a uh, one from a pyro actually that we're gonna load up right now and um, yeah we're just gonna go into that it's gonna be a pyro on defense because keep on it's easier to not be seen on defense than it is to do that on offense so he's gonna be opting to use the uh, detonator um, <laughs> degreaser and the extinguisher is what he's gonna be using so he's gonna be jumping over here, as you can do that when uh, you are uh, pyro with the uh, detonator. And here's a here's a cool thing. This is actually a pretty good hiding spot because usually when people go down here and look, he like if they run here, they won't actually see you, but you will see them. So this is actually a pretty good spot. He's gonna work here, working on not being seen, and just take his time and wait for his prey. He's gonna be looking around. And, oh, sees a soldier. Soldier doesn't even pay attention. Goes for it. Puts him on fire and whacks him out. And then he's going to be retreating around. So we will be seeing doing the similar kind of patrolling when you do when you're on defense. Uh, having a bit of trouble running up the stairs, but that's fine. Dion... Dionus... Dionysus. Dionysus, yeah. Showing his boss making the engineer room for his life. Shooting that flamethrower. And that was really... Like, he's only hit here and he's going to watch here. And, and this is excellent. You know, this engineer is completely focused on the, the pyro right now. And he doesn't even see the spy, and the spy just stabs him immediately. So that's a nice little diversion you can do there. Nothing makes me happier than being in a duel with somebody, and they're like strafing back and forth, and I'm strafing back and forth, and then I see a friendly spy just walk up behind them. And I just stall for time and let the spy kill them. That's excellent, excellent. So right now, he is not very good at not being seen. He's being very good at being seen right now, but that's what you want. You want them to take atten uh, attention to you and not uh, do what's uh, important to kill the sentries you don't have, because your engineer is dead as shit. So, uh, these are the, one of the laggiest spies I've ever seen. Takes him out with a uh, degreaser only. Having a demo man here with the uh, chest thing. And he's gonna jump up here. He's gonna patrol. Oh, sees a soldier and a sniper. And he is having some troubles to get the soldier and sniper. Did he get the sniper? Yes, sniper's dead. Nice work. So he still hasn't been hiding as much, but uh, here's the thing, you can't be hiding all the time, it doesn't really work that well. Uh, you can only hide at certain, you know, key moments, because if you hide in the same spot for too long, people are going to know you're going to be there, and it's kind of going to be like, similar to when your team has a lot of spies, uh, like the element of surprise is no longer there. So that's why uh, Dionysus is doing a great job of just moving around and trying to be fancy here. And as a pyro at this choke with the compression blast, you can really just, you know, deny any kind of movement up there. So you're still running around, probably looking for spies and stuff as uh, heavy goes down. Looking pretty potent here, so we're just gonna fast forward a little bit here. Having a bit higher um, pitch, but that's fine. Sees a sniper, takes him out. Going back and forth. As you can see, there hasn't really been a lot of room to hide upon, uh, hide in right now because. The place where he hides is usually contested by uh, by blue people. Um, 
making it hard to hide there, and there is not really that many other locations where you won't get immediately spotted. He's gonna jump up here and continue working with his soldier and takes him out. Nice work there. Yeah, that wasn't getting any later there, uh, Smurf Junior. And, uh, yeah, shooting the detonator doesn't do as much damage on the second hit as the flare gun does, but it still does uh, mini crits, I think. And fun fact, you cannot stand on that light post, so we got that confirmed. Good job there. And it's, uh, you know, when your medic doesn't heal you and your medic's constantly dead as shit, just run back into the supply locker and you will replenish yourself, no problem. And he's gonna not jump, and then he's gonna jump, yes, instead of just running around the side here, spending about a second longer and taking absolutely no damage. But why do it safe when you can do it really risky and take damage? He's gonna jump up here again and see if he can be hiding. Oh, he's hiding here again, looking for his prey. Oh, he's heavy, he hasn't even seen him, but oh, he uses the Tommy Slime and just shoots the shit out of him. Oh. Okay, so that was uh, the, all the user submitted ones. It's really hard to find good replays and good examples of hiding spots. So we're just gonna go into the uh, next uh, replay where... Uh, you know, if you try to hide too much, it's actually going to go uh, work against you because you need to attack, you need to be aggressive, and hiding isn't necessarily the most aggressive strategy. And as you can see, I am still very good at not being seen. You guys can't see me, but I can't see you either, so I guess that's just as fair. Whoops. You, you did not see that smile because I'm good at not being seen. And the replay is almost done loading. Suddenly decided to take freaking forever, but here we are. As a soldier on payload race, uh, whatever it's called. It doesn't matter. It's, uh,. Halo Raids map, bit of a wonky uh, game mode, gonna be a soldier, because soldier you can really, you know, hide around using that rocket jump and jump on high ledges and sit and wait. Uh, but there's not often an opportunity uh, presents itself, and they're just getting a kind of an air shot on that pyro. And we're gonna be running around using the equalizer, shotguns, and rocket launcher, pretty standard stuff here. So I'm gonna be taking the time to reload this. Oh, seeing a medic. Pretty low on health still. Didn't grab as much health as we can. And I'm gonna go back and charge this soldier, taking him out, leaving him splatter all over the floor. I'm gonna run back and grab this health again. And now we're gonna try and do something. And we're kind of hiding right now, so here, here we're at a good spot, you know. This spot is good for hiding. You get the you will see everything and Usually people are like dogs, they don't necessarily look up, so any- I can bet you if anybody comes through here, they will not be like, Yeah, is there a soldier up here? No, they're gonna be like, is there a sniper here? Is there something over here? No, they're not gonna even pay attention to that. I'm just gonna sit here and- oh, this soldier just decided to go all over the place and I was like, oh, what? Okay, cool! Great, we survived that and uh, there's actually no reason for us to be here because uh, we're the ones pushing. And just being on the high ground and the medic healing us is kind of a giveaway. We're like, oh yeah, cool. So let's uh, let's just go. So uh, right now we got the crits pop. We gotta take a chance. An uber uber crits soldier. Yes, absolutely missing every single rocket. There's our crit rocket hitting. Crits Creek is over. We still got the uber taking on that soldier with a rocket doing an absolutely terrible job, having awful positioning and hitting one rocket out of I don't know eight, and then we die. Nice uh, follow-up there by uh, by me to do that. So, uh, not the best uh, soldier action there, but that just showcases that like you don't always need to uh, need to hide. And I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the the first replay we saw of Sir Mintbear using the Tommy Slav that it might not be as silent as you think because currently it has like this little bug which I am gonna showcase uh, right now as soon as the Replay loads. As soon as, so as soon as it loads, it's being very fast. Okay, there we go. Yes, excellent, excellent. So here we are, we're gonna be on fast lane, uh, gonna be playing a heavy using the Tomislav sandwich and Gru, and what you see here is uh, Gru jumping. Uh, if you watch the beginning of the episode 26, that's Natasha, we cover that. 
And now we use the Tomislav and we shoot at this demo thing. Because the thing is, when you're spun up, it, it doesn't make a sound, you think. And I'm uh, just gonna despin and uh, go forward. Looking around, looking around. I was seeing a sniper, taking him out, and you see, I'm not shooting, but I'm still making a sound, and that's currently a bug. I wonder when they will fix this. But as of right now, as of 23rd of June, they have not fixed this. So if you kill a guy and you still s remain spun up, you're still gonna make sound. And that's not... That's kind of a giveaway. Even though the pirate is completely oblivious and gets uh, taken out, but then we die. Not. And then this heavy just shoots us to bits and we die. But yeah, that's a uh, that's that bug with the Tommy Slav. So be sure to spin it up and spin it down again a couple of times so you are uh, absolutely sure that... Um, you don't give away your position with that loud sound because you know that happens so time you see that in pubs all the time like if you have three heavies and they're all running the Tommy Slav and they all get a kill each and they just remain spun up it's gonna sound like a freaking motorboat uh, contest so now we're on the soldier and we're using the whip here to whip our team to get there faster having absolutely no medic whatsoever okay there we have one quake k25 knowing what's up being a good guy doing that and uh, deciding to go uh, on the low grounds so we're gonna go up and see if we can hide so uh, there's a common spot you can hide on the bad lines. That's up here. Uh, keep in mind we're supposed to be pushing right now. So this is like kind of a dumb spot to be. And I mean, we're like sitting up here taunting, but there's like a ton of action going on here. Pyros and rockets and shit. And we're just like, yeah, I'm just waiting for someone to pass by. And um, yeah, we're, we're good at not being seen. Because uh, people will generally not look up and not see you in the corner because it's kind of dark. And... We're gonna have enough of not being seen. We're now gonna work on being seen and doing some damage as a soldier. So, um, we're whipping our pirate here, getting, getting some extra speed. And okay, let's go and jump up here. Yes, good. Jump up here. I'm okay. We're hiding. And not sure, but this is kind of a giveaway that something is up, literally. And nobody's really coming. And we're like, alright, screw that, we're just gonna go attack. Oh, it's a heavy with Natasha. Alright, fall back. Alright, alright, they're following me, they're following me. Alright, cool, I know exactly what to do. I'll just chill up here and get them as they come. Because they are coming. Here comes the soldier. One rocket. Bam! Yes, success. We hiding. Skill of not being seen plays into our favor. We got that soldier. And... That was pretty much it. There's absolutely no one else. And a point has been captured. Here comes the demo man. And we're like, alright, cool. I'm just gonna grab his health. Let's go. You gotta be falling back. And jumping back up. Yes, okay, cool. So, as long as you see a pattern emerge here uh, using this spot, uh, this can be kind of good, but if you stay here for too long, people will notice uh, you're there and they will look up and check. And if you're in a hiding spot and people actually check your hiding spot, you're not doing too good. So here's where like being in a hiding spot doesn't really play into our advantage because we well, we should be pushing, not hiding. Uh, we should take the fight to the enemy instead of waiting for the enemy to take the fight to us. So we're gonna miss a jump. And, uh, yes, second time. Yes, got that jump. Nice and easy. And oh, there's a pyro here. It's taken out. I'm gonna try and make a push happen here very soon with this medic. Heals us. Very good. Nothing, Nothing can stop us now, because we're in Uber and we're gonna kill absolutely everything! Yes, here we go! Uber has a level 2 sentry on the ground and no engineer yet! So we're gonna work on this uh, scout here. And we're gonna shoot on this uh, sentry. It's actually in the flames. But here comes an engineer! Hero mode! Repairing that stuff, shooting us up in the air and uh, forcing us to retreat. And our medic should really get out of there. That he does. They're running around and uh, finally uh, escaping that ordeal there. Medic is still alive, so he's gonna be healing us up once again. Nice save there by the engineer, though, having absolutely no dispenser close. And there's a heavy trying to cap the point where we're gonna be jumping up, jumping, jumping, and got him. Yes, and now we're gonna jump back. Taking out a soldier, and oh, yeah, okay, we're flying kind of long and shooting a bunch of rockets while falling back. And now we're not looking too good, low on health. Enemy is there, they're contested it, and nowhere I can really hide and do damage. So just gonna take time, real weapons, you know, standard stuff. Grabbing health. 
I'm just uh, looking around to see where the enemy's at. Is heavy on the lower ground? Should be above your target. Really good as a soldier. Uh, and then eventually dying to this heavy. So as you can see, uh, hiding doesn't always uh, come into play. And uh, yeah. So we're just going to go into uh, another one real quick on the same map. And have a bit of a more hiding where uh, slightly more stuff happens. Uh, because you can't really... Like when you hide, you really need to be able to capitalize on hiding, you know, instead of just PR survival. So you're here with a little push with the team and then everybody's like, Thomas Love sounds like a motorboat fest. So that's what I think the Thomas Love sounds like. Sounds like one of those old, old motorboats made out of wood. So uh, right now we're about to attack and the enemy team can push uh, back at any time. Uh, they currently have, you know, a bunch of guys here. Stuff like that. So uh, this could go either way at this at this moment. So we have already established our nice little hiding spot here, and we see a sticky bomb. Okay, cool. Just gonna wait for that. See if anyone comes. Just being a bit patient. So right now there's a sentry here. That'll alert us to anything. I'm just gonna flash forwarding, spraying, seeing a spy run by, and oh, here comes some guys. Here's some guys. All right, cool. Hiding, hiding, hiding. Seeing the heavy, alright. Gonna let him pass. And the soldier dies. And alright. Time's up, fat man. Taking him out. Boom. Yes, there we go. Now he knows we're there. Engineer. Spray engineer. Just thumbs up. So we're ready to go jumping back up again. And just holding on to this spot like a boss. Uh, so you can do this on Badlands, both on King of the Hill and on uh, regular... Um, uh, CP, that was car alarm outside. Also, being good at not being seen. However, there's a few people that know whether we're up there and we're just gonna sit here, wait, wait. Comes a soldier, taking him out as well. And just fast forwarding, and. Okay, now we're gonna attack. Dun, 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 and rocket jumping, and up, and good, and yep. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. We're gonna try and do a push here. Uh, soldier on soldier action. We do not come out on top as we die horribly to that. So um, it's not just always about uh, being safe. Sometimes hiding can be really, really, really unsafe. So you're gonna be looking at scout play because you can because you're a scout and you have that speed and you have that double jump. You can actually get into quite uh, the interesting places. Uh, as a scout, so uh, we'll be trying to see if we can get find some good hiding spots and not be seen. Working on that hiding pretty well. Filling up to a dispenser, as we know. Scout love those dispensers. Am I right? People who bound that command to a key and spams it 24/7, always in pubs. I know I do. It's F <laughs> for me. Oh, getting a little extra help there. Gonna just try and take out this demo that we do. Gonna reload and fall back, waiting for the right moment to strike. Seeing a demo man, he's completely oblivious to us and uh, not being seen there, even though he uh, he could have seen us, but he didn't. So I'm seeing another spy here, uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna let him live. I'm gonna try and get into a uh, good position here. So we are right, hiding right now, and this is kind of a bad spot to hide in because if they jump down and they look here, they will. The first thing they will see, well, it's the stairs, and then you. So I'm like, ah, oh, maybe that's the best spot. So maybe like right un underneath here. Oh, heavy there. And oh, there's a scout and a demo and we just die immediately. So, you know, the thought was there to try and have a good hiding spot, but it's a bit too obvious and a bit too uh, predictable, predictable when you do that. So um, we're going to be looking at something that I like to call semi-hiding. And since I'm so good at hiding, you can't actually see me using like the quotation marks uh, to do that. So we're just gonna go on a bad water here, uh, playing scout. As we know, on the payload scout uh, episode, it's pretty hard to play scout on payload maps if the opponent knows what they're doing. And thankfully, this is a pub, and nobody has any idea what they're doing whatsoever. So uh, this will be a breeze. So gates are about to open, and we're gonna embark on our journey into the enemy base. We're gonna look up here, and usually there's always tons of stuff up here, but because the red team has no idea what they're doing, there's no sentry or anything. Oh, here comes the engineer carrying the sentry out. We're gonna kill that, and uh, counter to uh, the sentry gun that's building is a frying pan, apparently. And 
whack around on this, and yeah, there we go. And this applies to Scout and some other classes, like this Sniper is using the Razorback. And as we know, the Razorback is the most shitty item uh, ever. Uh, they will not check their back ever for spies. So they're safe against spies, backstabs, but they're not safe against paths. And he's not able to do anything about that. So you see a pyro using your double jump to jump to safety. And that's what I mean, semi-hiding. You, like, crawl up on your opponent. You don't shoot as fast as you can, like, to do, like, damage as fast as possible. But you just gain some more distance. So you take out a devil man as well. And seeing Pyro here getting a lucky crit, and the Pyro goes down. Seeing how the Devil Man laying a couple of meat shots, and down goes the Devil Man as well. And now our scout's talking, and we try to get above our target, but they know what's up, and we try to get this medic, and medic goes down. Seeing a sniper here, and now uh, we're in a three versus one situation where it's like a sniper, a, a spy, and a demo, and we go down. But that's fine, you know, as long as you are in. Um, less numbers than your opponents, you're doing actually a good job as long as you're just surviving. So, um, let's see here. Yes, cool. Moving on to uh, hiding uh, in spawn. Uh, if you ever played Engineer on Badwater, you know that some scouts likes to bonk through your uh, defenses and go to your spawn and just shoot your teleporters and kill people as they run out of spawn. So we're going to be doing exactly that, except we won't be using bonk because the enemies didn't build a sentry in the entire game, I think. Not a very useful one. They built sentries, but they built them in spawn, and as they were carrying them out, uh, they die every single time. Uh, because some people uh, never learn. So he was carrying it out, drops it, and once again using the pan to kill a building sentry gun. Taking it out, bound. Down he goes. Counter to everything is pan, apparently. Seeing a sniper here trying to escape, using the Razorback, being completely defenseless. If he had an SMG or Jurati even, he would be able to do something. But I guess uh, being protected against backstab doesn't protect you against a fucking shotgun. So uh, we're going to be running around here and oh, Pyro did not see us. Uh, we're currently on blue, so we're going to be hiding down in the corner here. Uh, Oscar will be talking sometimes and we're just you know, chilling in the corner waiting for someone to run around because we are about to cap this point. And what's going to happen is that this door is going to close and then they have to run this way. So that's generally what we're waiting for. And here we have the Derpy Nears uh, building in spawn, uh, not being able to do very much. So we're still just waiting here, and uh, we're gonna peek. But you have to be patient to do this. The sniper just is not sure what he's gonna do, and we actually, since we are focused on the sniper, we don't actually see the guys behind us. Uh, but the pirate is actually completely oblivious to us, and he hears the shotgun shots, hears the engineer say "ow," and hears the laser shots, but he never turns around ever about being aware of your surroundings because usually uh when it comes to defending when there's nothing here there shouldn't really be gunfire here so if you hear gun fire uh you should not um you should pay attention to that so seeing another engineer here and scouts are good against anything as long as you catch them off guard and we're gonna run oh, the sentry gun all right no, no okay scouts are not good against any kind of sentry gun whatsoever and listen to this Moving out! That means he's completely vulnerable, and he is carrying... Okay, so we just had a crash, but hl2.exe start working, but you know, we hear this. He's moving out, and that means he's completely vulnerable for any kind of attack, and there he goes. And he's not able to plunk down his sentry gun, and we just kill him with his sentry gun. And I'm gonna go up here and try- wait, I can use this to jump on top. Okay, there's a spy here. There's two, two spies. Okay, shit, um, I don't have a lot of room to move. Oh. Shit. Okay, um, okay, so that was, you know, you saw for the, I don't know, a lot of numbers time that building in spawn and carrying it out is the absolute worst thing you can do as an engineer ever. There is, like, no reason to do it because regardless, you will always build faster in the field and you will be doing so much better. So now we're going to be on engineer and we're going to be trying to sneak and using the skill of not being seen. So right now we're using the gunslinger, wrangler, and uh, the regular shotgun as we get a little crit there. So we're going to be trying to be sneaky here. And let's hope nobody sees us. And up, 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 up. Okay, up here. Nice. So we're just gonna, you know, seeing a sniper rifle there. We're gonna use that for metal, and uh, because our dispenser just got blown up, we're just gonna build a dispenser here, because why not? Why not build a dispenser here really close to the enemy spawn, which is literally uh, right here. Here comes a soldier, and he decides to go under this 
theirs, kind of, and gets taken out. And we're just going to rebuild our sentry gun in the corner. And if we could get one more guy to help us here, that would be awesome. Because uh, usually you want to stand on top of here, but I took some damage from the rockets. So that's why I'm standing at the dispenser. Uh, that playing very well. Here comes a sniper. Completely oblivious to the sentry. Taking him down as well. And here comes a soldier. And if the soldier has any brains, he will stay here. But he doesn't. He's an impatient little kid that just runs away. And we're just going to be hiding here. And oh shit, we took a rocket. Got to fall back. And our teleporter is done. Going to build a teleporter here as well. Because why not? We have the metal. Why not use it? And here comes a soldier. And we accidentally switch to the wrangler. Making the sentry gun shoot absolutely nothing. Because these two soldiers just run in and kills absolutely everything eventually. So that was just a minor slip up. And like tiny mistakes like that is usually what costs you your life. So we are gonna end uh, today's uh, replay with uh, some, uh, what uh, like some players. Now the game's called ganking. That's like when you kill the same guy over and over. So what are you gonna do? So we're here on Gullowash as a scout, and we are gonna be using uh, our skills to not be seen to kill the enemy, get the drop on them, and so on. So yeah, we are still doing the raffle after this. Uh, just gonna grab a random user from the stream at a certain point, so stay tuned for that. And if you're watching this in the archive, haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. <laughs> Should have watched the stream, man. Okay, so we're in scout, just hiding in the corner here, just looking around. Um, okay, we're gonna get to drop in something. Oh, nothing comes here. Just gonna run around and check here. Dun, 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 dun. And we are looking around. And the reason we're looking uh, heading here is because turn up the sound and we're looking for any kind of indication that the doors are being opened. But as of right now, my team's completely Time awful, and their enemy, the opponent's spawn actually got moved forward. So now we killed the engineer, and he was Vigzi, Alt F4 Vigzi. So we're gonna be hiding here. This is their forward spawn. We'll see if we can get the drop on anything. And the only player that died is Max Better and Vigzi, the guy I just killed. So uh, just waiting, hiding, you know, not being seen. Oh, here comes the guy again, taking out Vigzi, seeing a spy here. And he goes away. Uh, I'm not going to spend an extended time trying to chase down that spy because he could have gone anywhere. I'm not sure what watch he was using either. And they c actually captured another point. So we're just going to go up here and uh, go to the forward spawn once again. And uh, yeah. Oh, we're seeing a sniper at the back here using a uh, pretty bad uh, loadout here. Taking him out pretty easily as a scout. Now we're just going to hide here. And the door goes up. Oh, there's uh, Alt F4 again. Taking him out and being a bit cocky right now. And one thing you should always do is to check your back. Otherwise, that'll happen. So, uh, that was the episode Episode to not being seen. And uh, thanks to the ones that submitted, uh, especially Bonejacker for submitting uh, useless files. So now, we're going to be doing the raffle. And you can see I'm still good at hiding, so we're going to do this uh, raffle still being hidden. And there's the raffle music. All right, so everybody that's currently in the chat has the opportunity to do this. So I will grab the user list right now. And now we will open our notepad program to give everybody a number. I actually accidentally wrote notepad. <laughs> that's what engineer uses. He uses a notepad. So here we have all the usernames. Yes, there we go. Currently 25, so we're gonna go to our favorite website, which is indeed random.org, helping giving us these uh, random numbers. That's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna be loading that up right now for, just for you guys. So here we are at random.org, and we are gonna be putting up this true random generator. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So we have between 1 and 25, uh, that's all the users we have right now, so we're gonna be generating. Clicking this for a while, yes, click, 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 and we get the number one. All right, the guy that's on top of the list, and that is Adams the Munch. So if Adams the Munch would be so kind to type in your username, Steam username, in the chat, uh, you will be, I will add you, and I will give you the uh, item. So we'll be right back with uh, the winner. All right, so we're back with the winner. That's actually the guy that uh, donated stuff here. So it's kind of like karma paying back. So if you give stuff, you get given stuff back as well. Oh, whoops, that was completely wrong. So he's gonna have the choice of uh, these two sets, picking uh, one of them. That's what he can do. So which one will it be? Which one will it be? 
Yes, show us the... Is it the Scout Order Soldier set? Pick either. Pyro set? No more. This is all that's left. Pick either. Come on. Do, 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 do. Pick either. Pick either. Then Scout. Alright, I don't have the fish, but I guess you have the fish. So, the next raffle winner will be given the uh, Soldier set. So there we go. Congratulations. Winning that. And that's going to conclude the episode. As for the topic for uh, next time... Gotta be uh, mentioning that, and that is going to be the Market Gardener of everything. That's right, all you Market Gardener fans out there. The only uh, restriction is that you have to use the Market Gardener and get at least one kill with the Market Gardener or more. You can use the, you know, Rocket rocket Jumper, regular Rocket Launcher, any loadout you want. You just have to use the, uh, the uh, uh, Rocket Launcher. So yeah, send out a message to Star if you can and make him send tons of replays because this is going to be a really epic one. So I'm GPS and uh, this has been episode 70, uh, how to not be seen, which I am really, really good at.